Good morning and welcome to Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group, and our toll free number 800 951 the website at allamericangold.com. And man, we are in the throes of March Madness. Man, it's been absolutely insane. Uh, the uh, we're, Every record in, in Patriot history, and the thing about this, our 26th year in business has been shattered uh, here in uh, the, the month of March. And, of course, we got the NCAA tournament. How about the Peacocks? Yeah, St. Pete's uh, knocking off Kentucky yesterday. I've watched none of it, but it's always, always fun. Everybody loves the underdog. AllAmericanGold.com is the website. And, and, uh, and I'm sorry, are these writing me notes already? Listen, we are scrambling to try to find products. We're trying to get, uh, uh, the best products available in your hands. Uh, we're, we're searching the globe for it all. Uh, I'm joined with my partner in crime, Jason Walker, up there in Colorado. Uh, Jason, man, whew, I'm glad it's Friday. I, I know I need a break. You for sure need one. <laughs> I've, I've got a lot of energy. I, I, don't, I don't mind the chaos. It's okay. I, I'll say this. It's a, it's a buying frenzy when it comes to gold, but uh, always keep in mind, this is Patriot Trading Group. If you need to sell, we're, we're here. You just got to call the same number, 800 951 we, we do the buying and the selling. We even do trading, right, Joe? Buy, sell, trade. Uh, we do it all. And and right now, it's never a good sign when you go, you know, when you show up in the morning and the first emails I'm getting are from the places where I buy. I buy, you know, from the the, the wholesalers, the distributors, when they're sending me emails saying we're buying, right? You know, they're letting me know. Hey, by the way, if you got any of this, call me, right? You know, and uh, it, it's been one of those things where uh, it, it, it seems like. And Jason, you know this because you get the same emails as I do. Uh, it's now a regular. It, it, it's a regular thing now. Every day they're sending emails. We're we're buying. We're buying. We buy. We sell. We trade. We do it all, right, Jason? Yeah, pr- pretty much the entire year of 2022. We've we've got these. Uh, you know, our the guys that we get stuff from are saying we need we need your stuff. We need your stuff. We all need the stuff to sell it. So it's it's interesting, Joe, when uh, they're they're pushing hard on the buy button and they should be pushing hard on the sell button. So it it shows you this is a uh, it's definitely a seller's market. But you know. Get on their phones and, 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 and get it because it's just going to get harder and harder and more expensive and more expensive. Yeah, the, the chance here, the risk are, are, are extremely elevated. Listen, we all get it. Everybody sees it. Uh, the, the, the Fed uh, is so far behind the curve. Uh, inflation now, I mean, you're starting to see all these reports where, where companies are out there, uh, you know, the what all, and companies, you know, these uh, analysts and economists and hedge funds, and, and now they're saying 6 to 9% inflation through 2024. It's going to be a lot longer than that. Listen, this is this is where we are at. They printed us into oblivion. We're going to a new money system. You need to accept it, and you need to get ready for it. Period. It's not a question of 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 if. It's a simply a question of when. And the problem was, I thought when a couple of years ago was twenty thirty. That's gone. We're not getting to 2030. I don't know that we get to 2024 uh, before it comes in. And, and we're watching all of this right now. Right now. The war against the dollar is on. Uh, Joe Biden today uh, having a, a phone call with the Chinese. And it's just so funny. And, and the symbolism and all these things that are out there. The Chinese send uh, battleships through the Strait of Taiwan while they're talking uh, to to Joe Biden. We're we're tailing them, right? We're we our, our our ships are 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 tailing them while this is going on. All reports are it was a very tense conversation between uh, the President of, of the United States and President Xi of China. And, and again, I, it, 
I don't think, Jason, it has anything to do about Ukraine. It all has to do with, uh, you know, we broke the news a few days ago uh, about how Saudi Arabia is getting ready to pour, uh, price oil in Renembis. Well, guess what? It's gotten worse. UAE, Nigeria now have announced, hey, guess what? We're getting ready to do the same thing. Uh, the, the dollar uh, days as the sole reserve currency of the world is getting ready to come to an end. We're getting ready to go to a digital dollar. And your freedoms are getting ready to be taken away, Jason. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's, it's got the feel of a poker game that's coming to an end. And uh, the guys that are behind are saying, one more hand, one more hand. They, they, they want to keep going before the uh, the reset, Joe. That's that's what, that's what it feels like. That That's what all this activity feels like is, yep, the, this this poker game, the last 80 years since Bretton Woods is coming to an end. We're going to reset the table, and, and everybody's trying to have a better position for the next game. That's that's what it feels like. Yeah, and, and, and again, uh, the, you, know, you brought up Bretton Woods, right? This is really, we're getting ready. If we want to go with that theme, uh, when we get back, you know, we'll go over Bretton Woods uh, 1, Bretton Woods 2, and, and what we think is coming. We'll call it Bretton Woods 3 uh, just to stay on that theme. But this is what you're going to really be able to expect. And and when we go to the new thing, and, you know, we, we played uh, Glenn Beck the other day. Listen, it's out there. Go to the government's website. Change is coming to how we use money. And unfortunately for most of us, that change isn't necessarily going to be a very good change at all. Patriot Radio News Hour. That's why all it's incre- the amount. I can't even tell you how much business has been. It's off the charts. We'll be right back. 800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News Hour, Joe Jacob Jason Walker. Arlene was in here during the break. I mean, we're, we're doing all we can. Uh, it, it's uh, It's been a madhouse as far as, and, and big buddy, big money coming in, uh, the largest single order in company history, the largest uh, volume days. Every, every sales record uh, is coming down here. Uh, in March, people are getting it. People are finally, you know, it's funny. I think Jason, it took gas to go to four and a half dollars for people to, to, to really, uh, wake up to understand what's happening. Listen, and I know crude oil, crude oil, you know, they, they sold it down and I told you that it's a, a bunch of paper stuff happening. Don't pay attention to it. Of course, today, crude oil is back to 104, uh, dollars a barrel, right? You know, the, uh, one of the, the big trading houses came out last night with a note, uh, re, you know, rebringing up $200 a barrel and saying $200 a barrel is coming before the end of the year, saying that, uh, let, this week's inventory report, we did actually, you know, so much going on, we didn't get a chance to talk about it. Uh, there was a small build of crude oil. There was couple million barrels uh but what they're saying is hey that was just because uh you know we're releasing bit more barrels out of the strategic oil reserve and saying hey without that it was going to be another huge decline and that what they're saying is that the way the biden administration has been tapping our strategic oil reserves that they're going to hit all-time record lows, that that our strategic oil reserves are going to hit an all-time record low, and it's going to pave the way for $200 a barrel crude before the end of the year. And, of course, Jason and I, we've talked about how many barrels uh, of crude in inventory we've been. We've talked about how the bets being placed on $200 oil. I mean, it's it's incredible how many people are betting it. But they're saying right now that the estimate is, and this is why oil started to rally again yesterday. They're figuring out that the, the embargo that's happening on Russia is taking three to four million barrels of crude oil a day out of the market and and that there's no way 
Saudi Arabia, UAE, uh, or anybody else is going to be able to make up for it. And just imagine now, think about this. Oil is like 104. Gas is, let's call it 450. And, and, and depending on where you are, some of the people are like, hey, 450, or it's like 550, right? Could be. Now say the price of oil doubles. What are we going to be paying at the pump? Seven, eight, nine? Jason, it, it, it doesn't add up. And again, remember how this ends. We've told you how it ends. We are in this horrible, horrible inflation. It's only, inflation's only getting worse. And it ends with demand destruction. And when that happens and the economy falls off the cliff, Jason, you know they're coming with that digital money. Am I on? There we go. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's supply and demand. Uh, Biden told us with his State of the Union address he's going he's to tap into the uh, strategic reserves. Well, if you have less of reserves, you have less supply, which means you're going. it's going to get it. You know, I, I think Biden, who doesn't really make these decisions, I, don't, I, I never believe any president actually makes these decisions. They're, they're, just, they're just the uh, mouthpiece. Uh, they know. They know that the prices are getting more expensive. You don't tap into the strategic reserves, Joe, and, and think that the price is going down. Oh, we're going to flood the market with our oil here. No, no. You, you, when you keep adding to the reserves, that means there's, there's more supply than demand, and the prices go down. You don't, you don't take from <laughs> your, your reserves, right, Joe, and think the prices are going down. So, yeah, prices are absolutely going to go up. There's, there's just no doubt. You know, there's just no doubt. You know, you, when you got less, it costs more. That's all there is to it, Joe. Yeah, absolutely right. And, and and this is exactly what's happening everywhere in the marketplace. Uh, it, it, things are moving quickly here. I, I just got an email. Uh, there are some 2022 Silver Eagle sealed cases available. Right now, this is going to go quick. Uh, there are going to be $790 a roll. Uh, we've got a hundred rolls. That's four boxes. Uh, they're not going to last long. Uh, if you want to get on it, get in on it. If not, great. Uh, the, the, right now, Silver Eagles, as I told you yesterday, it's two to four weeks. These just popped up, and they are going to be for delivery next week. So if you want to get in on silver, you better do it now. 800 951 5 Nine to uh, be patient because Arlene right now is the only one here. Uh, Brittany's on her way in uh, as we continue to work through this. Metals plans. I want to talk about our metals plans, people. We will start shipping metals plans maybe Friday of next week and the, for sure by the following week. Uh, metals plans will start rolling out to everybody. Uh, so if you want to add to your metals plan or do something like that, a lot of people like to do that at the end of the quarter. Uh, get that done by next week uh, because we're going to start shipping uh, when that happens, Jason. That's <clears throat> that's correct. That's correct. And if you don't know what the metals program is, uh, call us at 800-951-0592. It's, it's a way that you can buy metals without having to think about which coins to buy and or what price point you want to get it at. Uh, the people that buy into the metals programs, they just they just know they need to have it. And you can uh, set your monthly amount uh, as a minimum of $100 a month. And, and quite frankly, Joe, it's, it's pretty much as much as you want per month. And uh, that, that metals program has been growing uh, a lot over, over the last couple of years, Joe. Oh my! Listen, <laughs> it is so big. I mean, think about uh, it. It it is it is a chore uh, just to try to get it done. The funny thing is, a lot of you remember Brooke. Brooke was working here uh, until we could get some help in here. Uh, she's actually going to come back and help us ship all of the metals plants. That's how big it's gotten. There you go, and then with the uh, Colorado office opening four years ago, we just we've been growing all at, you know all all facets of Patriot Trading Group. We've been really trying to grow the customer base, which then uh, makes it so we can buy a little bigger and, and give it to you a little cheaper. So it's uh, you know, it's it's I'm glad I'm glad to be here. How about that, Joe? I'm glad, I'm glad especially especially when the things get heated up. It's, it's this is what we uh, Brian and myself bought into. Yeah, well, you know, uh, just one piece of economic data out today just to get to it. And, and once again, not a, not a great piece, uh, existing home sales. And this is going to be interesting. 
right? This is if the housing market craters again, and I and I and I'm not saying that it is, right? I'm not saying that, but existing home sales fell seven point two percent month over month. That's a big drop month over month. It's the biggest drop in in in, in sales in the last several years, month over month drop uh, since May of 2020. So since the throes of, you remember, May of 2020, that was when the lockdowns were starting to happen for COVID. Uh, they're saying that home sales have now fallen for the seventh straight month in a row. Uh, yeah, you know, there, there's inventory. There's not a ton of inventory. As Jason said, uh, the home builders can't even finish the new homes, which is keeping prices elevated. Uh, but they're saying out there already uh, the interest rate hikes is starting to drive away because uh, monthly payments. Think about this. This is crazy. Monthly payments for homes has risen 28% from a year ago. 28%. And yet, they're saying, well, the inflation's 8%. I don't think so, Jay. That math just doesn't work. That's right, Joe. And, and this is, I don't know if this is a really uh, a linked story to that, but uh, since you're bringing up housing, uh, my uh, my mom sent me this story uh, here in Colorado. It's Green Valley Ranch. It's kind of the south side of, of Denver area. And uh, there's an HOA there that's been... Uh, you know, you know my HOA story, Joe. Uh, there's been a, an HOA that's been very tenacious about everything has to be perfect, right? They're foreclosing on 50 homes out of a, a 68 homes that they're really going after for violations and then not paying, not paying stuff. They put the liens on the homes. They're actually moving these houses into foreclosure. It sounds like somebody really wants some homes really bad. Because it was always my thought that uh, you know, I was a process server that usually you put a lien on a home. There's nothing you really can do about it. The homeowner either has to pay the lien to sell the house or he just you know the, the lien just sits there well apparently they, they must have signed something in their hoa agreements because they're foreclosing on these houses showing oh, someone's getting someone's making some money on this thing right yeah absolutely by the way here's here's you want another way uh our central bank just lies to us so i just told you monthly mortgage payments this is the difference if you bought let's just go back one year and let's just say you bought a house, half a million dollar home. And and, who, and, and I'm just making up a number because it, it doesn't matter. And let's just say half a million dollar home and the payment was was $2,500 a month. Okay? You buy a half a million dollar home today. So same price, same price, home, same half million bucks. Instead of a $2,500 a month payment, it's $3,200 a month. And just so amazingly, guess what? This is not part of the CPI, right? The Fed doesn't even count. They don't even care. Ah, that's not inflation. And, and how in the hell is it not? And this is going to be the problem for housing. If you know now again, Jay Powell, they just raised rates a quarter of a point yesterday. I mean, the ten-year note is at two one three, and prices are up. Payments are up twenty eight percent. Now he's claiming, he's saying, "Hey, I'm going to raise rates again for seven more times this year." I mean, what, what, what do you think is going to happen? $500,000 home, and now instead of the payments being 2500 bucks, instead of them being 3200 bucks, they're going to be $5,000. What do you think is going to happen to housing if that happens? Right, Joe, and these, these, first, uh, these first hikes on the rates uh, are actually the worst ones because let's just say the rates are now at a quarter percent. The next quarter percent rise is a 100% rise. You know, so as a percentage, as a percentage number, you know, going down to zero is a really bad thing to do because when you do try to come out of it, the percentage of rise is, you know, we say we get they get it to a half percent. Well, the next quarter point uh, that they add is a fifty percent rise on the rates, and it's it doesn't seem like a lot until you, uh, Joe gives you the numbers. Look, look what a quarter point's doing. You know, and it's a great boy. I didn't even think about it in that terms. It's a great way of explaining it, and. Uh, 
uh, just just different things. Uh, China once again saying, "Hey, we didn't want this Ukraine war, right? We don't want any of that to happen. That's on you guys." Uh, very interesting. What's happening? Uh, crude oil uh, rallying today. The Dow is down today. Gold's off a little bit, but but uh, not not much here. Gold's down about five bucks, nineteen thirty eight. Uh, right now, U.S. Silver Eagles. I've got some phone lines open. Uh, believe me, the, these cases will be absolutely, I promise you this, they will be gone in the next less than an hour. Less than an hour. If you want 2022 Silver Eagles, they're $790 a roll at 800 951 0592. When we get back, I've got some gold. Uh, we have some gold uh, uh, available, some specials available there as well. Uh, but again, all of these markets uh, are extremely, extremely tight uh, when it comes to product availability. And again, think about it. It's every commodities market's extremely tight. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't mean to laugh. J.P. Morgan uh, is finally telling everybody, "Oh yeah, you better get more gold." Yeah, they, they're they're of course it, it always takes. By the time J.P. Morgan is telling you to buy gold, you know you're you know we talk about the Fed being behind the curve. Uh, you're absolutely behind the curve now, but all these investment houses, uh, they're all almost on a daily basis, uh, raising their, their, their gold price forecast because they know. Listen, they know. You know. I don't know what you're waiting for. What do you think's going to happen? Let me give you an example of what we're dealing with. Nancy Pelosi, who, you know, Maybe one of the most powerful people in Congress. This is this is the nonsense that that they're shoveling. When we're having this discussion, and they were talking about again, right? They want to you know pass all these spending bills and 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 hand out money to everybody, right? It's just constant, right? This huge tyrannical government that is the United States now. When we're having this discussion. It's important to dispel some of those who say, well, it's the government spending. No, it isn't. The government spending is doing the exact reverse, reducing the national debt, and it's not inflationary. This is what she says. Hey, then when we spend money, not only does it reduce the national debt, it also doesn't cause inflation. This is this is the it's absolutely idiotic. This this is idiocracy. And she's like, oh no no. It's, well, in that case, if that was actually true, Jason, wouldn't the solution be to, let's spend twelve trillion dollars a year then? I think they know that inflation would come with that. <laughs> they won't admit it. But she just said it doesn't. Yeah, I know. I know. What they say, what they do is usually two different things. You know, you say you say she might be one of the most powerful. Usually, be most powerful in Washington means you're the easy, most easily controlled. That's why you get guys like Biden and Pelosi in office. Oh, I believe it. Exactly. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen to that. You know, yesterday we talked about. Uh, Brazil now warning about food supplies and saying that uh, fertilizer uh, consumption uh, is falling off a cliff because farmers can't get the fertilizers. Uh, and now uh, they're out again today warning about crop yields. Uh, Jason, this is going to be one of the uh, worst inflationary food cycles we've ever seen. You throw uh, a, an oil on top of it, and, and and again, this is this is the seventy plus tax. Uh, they had uh, who was it? Uh, hold on a minute. It was one of the St. Louis Fed. Uh, the St. Bullard was out today. The St. Louis Fed chief. You know what he said? Think about this craziness. Because inflation's what is inflation running really? Fifteen percent. 
the Fed should move rates to 3%. Could you imagine what that would do to the monthly housing payment on a house? To go to 3%. I mean, we're at essentially a quarter of a percent. That would be like a 1,200% increase. Uh, th- this is it. They have no exit strategy. There is no way out of this. We are going into a reset, and it's just that simple. It's so obvious and so predictable. It- it- it's-, it's unbelievable. There's a guy who's listening to, Joe, he, uh, from, from what he, he's seeing, and then some guys he's talking to, the, he believes that uh, the Fed actually is going to try – to get it to five percent, and the way they're going to do it is to make sure that inflation is five to ten percent, maybe fifteen percent higher than their rates, and that's the way that they can, in their minds, possibly successfully move the rates to five percent. Uh, he also believes that with with the charts he's looking at, that one point five percent when they get there is when the whole thing breaks. You know, there's, there's no way yeah. it'll, it'll make it past one point five percent. So there you have it: eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two all state. You know, uh, you're in good hands. Says that, uh, well, due to higher inflations, we are going to be increasing rates. Since the fourth quarter, all state brands have implemented 41 rate increases across 34 different states. Uh, the average increase in car insurance, home insurance rates. 7.8%. Man, I... I know. That's a lot of money for, for, for the just-in-case. You know? That's incredible. Lyft saying they're adding 55-cent surcharges onto every every ride. That's not 50, I'm laughing at 55 cents. I mean, uh, you'd think it'd be more than that. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely... Uh, insane what is happening out there and how fast these prices are going. And, I mean, and again, think about how, how how are you going to afford this? I mean, when you think about it, listen, right? More or mortgage or your rent—that's your biggest bill, right? Then, then probably your car payment and, and your health care payments. Well, well, probably health care, uh, then then car payments. Well, right after that, probably your insurance payments. And now, that, guess what? Hey, that's going up uh, 8%. Yeah, Joe. I mean, uh, when the interest rates go up, especially when it comes to buying these cars, which are inflated into higher prices, let's just say the, uh, the, you know, the number one performing asset class in 2021 was used cars, which with used cars, they always tack a little higher interest if you finance it. And then well, now, now you're going to what? Raise the interest rates on those loans. Uh, getting a used car is going to get really painful, Joe. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, all all of these things. Uh, it's the math doesn't work. You better get ready. I hope you're getting ready. I hope you understand what's coming. Uh, do not let yourself be part of the bail-in that is coming with the reset. I've got uh, rolls of silver eagles. Uh, these are 2022. It's sealed cases. You can buy a whole case if you want. Uh, they're $790 to the roll. If you want to buy a case, there is no case discounts. Uh, 19750 uh, if you want to buy the case. Uh, on the gold side, I've got a couple of items. I'm working. I'm not ready yet. Uh, over the break, I'll have it ready. Uh, we'll have a, a couple of gold items uh, to go along with it today. Uh, but be ready. 800-951-0592. Uh, boy, they, these Fed governors are starting to pop out of the woodwork here. Uh, and Bullard saying rates need to be 3%. Christopher Waller is now saying, hey, the next hike needs to be a half a percent. Yeah. Get ready. Wall Street's in a whole lot of trouble, if you ask me. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. 800-951-0592. Just putting things together here. Uh, Here's what we got. Uh, So we know Silver Eagle, 790 a roll. uh, Until they're gone. And like I said, uh, they they won't be here by noon today. Uh, On the gold side, I have still have some 10th ounce. 
$255. Buy a roll of 50 or more, uh, $250. U.S. $5 Liberty. So uh, the one-tenth ounce, that's a $5 modern issue. Uh, then we have the older, the $5 Liberties, that, that's the, the quarter ounce, uh, $650. If you buy 10 or more of those, $645. And then on $20 gold pieces, th this gets a little complicated. I've got 2020s. I know that's sad to say, but 2020. And these are all high, higher, non A, U, B, U, C, U, really nice. I've got 20 of them at 2250 After I sell those 20, the next 100 are at 2265 After those 100, the next 100 are at 2295 Why do I say that like that? Yesterday alone, we sold... 320s just yesterday uh, so this is just so you know this is it this is all that's out there right now and and, and really uh, when you think about it it makes a lot of sense Jason uh, everybody in every country in the world is, is facing the same issues that we're facing here at home and people are just getting ready what, what you're saying is your strategic supply of 20s is going down so the price is going up is that what you just said that's that's pretty much what I just said. Um, the first twenty at twenty two hundred and fifty dollars, and that's because you know I know a lot of dealers out there, and this was a a a one off. This is a dealer, a uh, huge dealer, by the way, uh, that normally just sells back to the wholesalers, and we just happened uh, to call at the right time and got these twenty. Uh, after that, this is this is where it's going to be. Uh, my my guess is, this is how it's going to be for the rest of the year. Everybody knows the Fed is full of you know what. They're, they can't do what they say. They don't have tools. They only have one tool, and that's debt. And now the problem is they've made so much of it that we are living through this inflationary cycle. Like I said, we know how it ends. Demand destruction. I'm looking at housing, and, and, I, and I like housing. Who doesn't like housing? People got to live somewhere. And, of course, they're like, hey, there's not a lot of supply. There's not a lot of supply. I promise you, as rates continue to go up, guess what? There may not be a lot of supply. There's not going to be a lot of buyers either, Jason. Yeah, it's 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 bad on both sides. That's that's what what demand destruction is. You know, it's 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 bad on both sides. And I'll tell you right now, the uh, those those mega apartment uh, complex buildings they've been building the last ten years all over the place. They're uh, those are filling up pretty fast, Joe. So, yeah, you know, what, what, wait till you see those really things full. Up. Yep. Yeah, and I mean apartment uh, vacancy rates, right? The, the they're at all time record. They're record full. Like they're. A lot of they're ninety eight percent full, and really the other two percent is just because somebody's moving out and getting ready to you know they're getting they're cleaning the the carpets and getting ready uh, painting the walls getting ready for the next tenant. A lot of those apartments uh, they, when they're moving out, Joe, they're moving and going to a cheaper place like the the south or somewhere where, where apartment rentals are just cheaper because people are now really looking for cheaper places to live because they just can't afford like Colorado, Arizona. It's, it's expensive to live in these places. And so people Let me are tell you right out. now, let's define what cheaper is. Okay, cheaper means two, one of two things. I've got to move farther away. <laughs> Guess four and a half dollars. Or I've got to live in a more dangerous place. And that's really what's happening. This is a huge shift. The, the, the middle class, once again, the, 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 the lower middle, the whole entire lower middle class 
is getting ready to fall into poverty. This is what's going to happen. The middle part of the middle class is going to become low middle class. The upper part is just going to be middle class. I mean, this is the type of destruction. And I, I'm talking destruction of 20, 30, 40 million people. And they knew the inflation was coming uh, a long time ago, Joe. They knew it before because, uh, hey, when Biden passed that first little, that first little, uh, you know, one point five trillion, they, they, you know, they, they was in there. They they put double digit pay raises for Congress was was baked in there, and that's just now starting to come out. They don't. Yeah, want, they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay for the inflation, Joe. Either they don't want to pay for it. No. No, absolutely not. And, you know, we're watching uh, all of these things play out and we're getting distracted and, and Fauci's out talking about uh, COVID lockdowns again today and, and all of this other nonsense that, that's happening out there. And, and, and all of this ends really in, in one simple way of putting it. Uh, the bankers don't have the money to pay for the defaults that are coming. Russia was allowed. We allowed that bond payment to be made the other day. Do you know why? Think about it. It was only $117 million. I mean, that's... That's that's sad to say. That's like nothing. Because the bankers told our government, J.P. Morgan told our government, hey, uh, you got to... We got to let them make this payment. You have no idea the the chain of defaults it's going to have. That's why I said the reset's coming. Don't be part of the bail in Patriot Radio News Hour. Final segment coming up. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Final segment of the week. Uh, the call is over. It was a two hour phone call between Biden and Xi of China. And and again, listen. This is all a distraction. China is, at least in my opinion, playing this like a fiddle. Uh, The move is being made right now. They're going to get, at the end of this, the ability to buy the biggest commodity in the world, crude oil, in Renembis. And once that happens, everything else is going to follow. And, and I just saw a chart of the M2 money supply. And, Jason, you've been saying this all along. The Fed has been blowing up the money supply all the way up until Wednesday. The, the M2 money supply has quadrupled. And, and actually more than quadrupled. And, and think about this. Think about it for just a minute and why the reset is a, it's a certainty. People, they're like, I don't want to hold these dollars. I don't want these dollars. Look at what they've done. Look at what they're doing. Look at how uh, at risk they're putting the rest of the world uh, with all of this crazy shenanigans. And look at the inflation and everything else. And once they start allowing for crude oil, all the other products fall in line, and there's going to be a huge revaluation. Now, Glenn Beck says overnight we're Mexico, Venezuela. I don't want to believe that, but again, he's right. When both people, oh, that'll never happen. It's happening, and and uh, and again, when it's all said and done, and the dust settles, those of you that left money in these banks, you're going to suffer. The bailout. For those of you, hey, you got less than 10000 in the bank. You make it month to month. I don't think they've got anything to worry about. It's the people that actually have the money, Jason, that are going to have the problems. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's, it's uh, you know, why, uh, you know, you could buy gold and silver, Joe. I, I was, uh, gosh, I, I can remember the guy. Uh, I'll have to remember. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it next week. But this this one, uh, one of the uh, Rickards, it was it, Rickards. R- uh, he, I saw an interview Rickards was talking about. Uh, he talked to some old money, you know, these these really wealthy families, generational wealth. And uh, he said he was a little surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised, but he was a little surprised. He asked, he was like, how do, how do you transfer this wealth generation to generation? How is it that in one of these generations didn't sabotage the wealth of your family? And they said, well, we buy three things. Three things, Joe. That was it. These are the three things that generational wealth is preserved. 
It was gold, property, and art, things you actually physically hold or, or live on. And, you know, it's, that's the way you, this is the way you build your wealth and your family's wealth, Joe. Absolutely. That's a, you got it. Uh, gold right now, gold's off 8, uh, 1935. Uh, silver's down 40 cents at, at 2520. And these are paper prices. Uh, believe me, I just paid the highest price over spot for cases of Silver Eagles in this company's history. Just right now. Uh, while we've been on the air, that's where these cases came from. Jason, it's incredible what's really happening in these physical markets. All of these paper markets. And again, this is just another sign. It's another warning to all of you out there. This is happening. By the time Wall Street crashes, you're you're so deep into the throes of these things, right? I mean, let's face it. Housing crashed in 06. It took until 08 for the the crisis to to really rear its ugly head, and we're reliving the same cycle again. 800-951-0592. God bless everybody. We'll be back next week.